it's much later on in the day but this is going to be part of the second vlog um and not the christmas one but i wanted to um slot it in because i'm gonna need to take all these things out so i got a little package delivered so excited let me show you what it is as somebody who eats healthy you can imagine my excitement okay so <laughs> this is what just got delivered this is a pack of goodies from fresh packs and it's literally like vegetables um it's fruits i'm seeing pineapple oh my gosh i'm so excited okay it's even like taller than me i can't even like i have to do that <laughs> but yeah i need to um do a whole instagram spiel so um before i do that actually before i continue let me do okay, that okay so this is the box that i got from fresh pack i wanted to show you what i got I'm telling you when I say I am excited, when I say my smoothies, when I say the healthy eating, when I say I'm ready to make salads, I'm ready to make fruit bowls and things. I'm so excited. So inside I got two pineapples. Oh! <laughs> inside I have two pineapples. Look at how gracious they look. They look so pretty. And one of the things that I'm scared about the most is actually cutting a pineapple, but we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. Of course, blueberries, because I love blueberries. And they told me that they know that I love to make smoothies and I like to eat fruits. And hello, strawberries. I actually just ran out of strawberries, so I'm very, very excited. Yes. And also three apples. I love how it's farm style packed. Like, I love how this packaging is everything for me. I feel like it's so farm style. Like, oh, I'm going to the farmer's market. Oh my God. Mm -mm. It's, so, it's so cool. And then I've got three bananas of which I love bananas. If you know me, you know bananas are my favorite fruit. Very excited. I have a head of spinach. Uh, this is Swiss chard spinach. So this is the one that you must cook it. You know, it doesn't taste the same when you put it in a smoothie. I can tell you that right now, okay? I've got potatoes, which I actually don't have in the house. So I'm really, really excited for this. I'm, I'm not mm, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make, but I could like make bangers and mash or vors and mash or something like that. So mm -hmm, we could do that. And then of course, as a G&T drinker, huh? Huh? <laughs> Lemons, of course, I also like lemons in my water. Rick. You guys know that. You guys know that. And then uh, we've got some carrots. In fact, I don't really, I think in my last vlog, you saw me buy the baby carrots. I finished those. I ate them so much that I finished them. I feel like my blood at this point is orange, really. So I'm really, really looking forward to them because I'm on like a carrot kick now, which is exciting. And of course, onions. Uh, we cook with onions. Okay. You, you, you just can't make a good meal without onions. I feel like you, you just can't. You want to do a stew, you need onions. You want to do a sauce, gravy kind of thing, you need onions. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, this is what I got from Fresh Pack. So, so excited. I need to pack this away. I'm really, really keen. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Fresh Pack. Got some of these in the fruit basket i normally put my fruit basket in the fridge uh the reason why i do that is because um it's summertime it's really really hot and you know you get the little bugs and things and blah 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 and they end up trying to sit up on your fruits and stuff i don't like that so i normally keep my fruits in the fridge really in the summertime gonna have to cook the spinach tomorrow I'm thinking definitely gonna make some um, like what is it I'm thinking I'll definitely make like cream spinach or something like that tomorrow I'll probably be part of this this whole vlog kind of vibe um, I was filming my Christmas uh, vlog today setting up for Christmas but this part is gonna be in a new vlog so don't get it twisted, okay? Got some nectarines, got a mango in there, got some pears. Woo! 
Granny Smith green apples. We love it. We love it. Hey, y'all. So I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you guys about the current book that I'm reading. My goodness. Um, uh, the last book that I read was A Family Affair by Sunyati, which is a standout five out of five for me. I love the book. Love the book. Beautiful book. I'll talk about it, obviously, at a later stage when I do like a wrap up. There's probably not going to be that much in terms of, no, but I'm going to have time to read. I'll be sitting for a lot of December, so I'll be reading. So I'll probably get through maybe another three or four books before the end of December. So, But I wanted to talk to you guys about this book. This is a book called by uh, Akweke Imezi. Emezi, Emezi, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, and it's called The Death of Vivek OG. That's pretty much the book. A short read, it's about 250 pages, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, so incredibly well written, and it follows the story of Vivek OG. And the book essentially opens up with the death of Vivek OG. He's a young man. Uh, who is gay and I love the representation of this book. This is actually I think this is the first book this year that I've read with uh, yes because I haven't read The Vanishing Half and I feel like there's also representation in that one but this is the first book this year that I have read with a uh, um, LGBTQ uh, representation which is really really nice to see um, and it just follows the life of Vivek um, OG who who is a gay young man who is found dead at his mother's doorstep he's found by his mother dead at the doorstep as in somebody left him there and um, then it opens into his life between two time spans when he was younger and when he was older and it also follows the relationship that he has a very close relationship that he has with um, uh, his cousin Osita and um, both males, and from what I can tell, they had a very close relationship. Um, it hasn't quite said yet what they've done together or what have you, but I feel like it's leading to that. Um, and and uh, yeah, it, they just spent a lot of time together and things happened behind closed doors with the two of them in there. And uh, really really keen on seeing how the story is gonna pan out we already know that Vivek is gone at like 23 or something like that I have a feeling I'm gonna cry before the end of this book I really have a feeling I'm gonna cry and I'm scared I don't know if I'm gonna cry but it's a short book I'm almost halfway through I should be done with this book probably tomorrow and then over the weekend, I'll probably start reading something else. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down so that I can light up the Christmas lights and lamps and all of that. So that I can show uh, you guys that. And then I'll probably just relax and unwind. I'm probably going to relax and unwind now and read this book. But so far, I can already tell this is going to be a 5 out of 5. The writing is impeccable. It's really, really good. It's easy to follow. I love that. And yeah. Sounds like a great read. So far, so very, very good. Hey! Hey, everybody. It's a new day. Um, it's actually much later on in the day. It's like around 3 o'clock. <laughs> what was I doing all day? I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I got out of bed really, really late today because I just wanted to. I felt tired after yesterday. Um, I actually did some work on my laptop till quite late last night. So I wanted to sleep in a little bit. And I did till around about 11. And in actual fact, during that time, I actually woke up around past six and I was on my phone for a couple of hours uh, for, for about an hour past seven past eight and then from eight till about 11 I read and uh, I read fairly slow if you if you ask me because I only read about um uh, maybe about 60 or 70 pages so I'm a little bit over halfway with the death of Vivek OG and uh, uh the representation is amazing. There's a gay relationship, two gents. There's a lesbian relationship, two chicks. But wow, the storyline is very, very painful. 
you know, just, just, just discovering yourself and figuring out who you are, what you are, what you like, what you don't like, who you like, and having to hide that from the world. Just Vivek, man. Mm. But it's a, it's a really, really good book. I don't really have much to say on it because I really haven't uh, moved much from what I told you yesterday. But what I did confirm is that, yeah, well, this could be... This could be a spoiler, so I'm not going to say that. I released a Christmas Decorate With Me video today, like two hours ago, I think. And I feel like a lot of people are under the assumption that I'm going to be doing Vlogmas. <laughs> My darling. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to be doing Vlogmas. I'm not committing myself to anything. I do want to upload at least three or four times a week. I do. But I'm not going to commit and outright say that, yes, I'll be doing Vlogmas or I'll be releasing a video every day or every two days or whatever. No, I'm just going to do what I can and what is allowed, what I can allow for myself. Um, because I, I take my downtime very seriously. And I feel like it's very strenuous to be recording every single day. Uh, uploading every single day. I don't know how the likes of my sister and them are doing it because <laughs> no, me I rest, and when I rest, I rest. Buffet, I rest. <laughs> um. So I'm in the kitchen right now. As I said, I really haven't really done much. I caught up with 90 Day Fiance. It's like I binge watch that stuff like bad, <laughs> bad. I was catching up with that, so that's like a two-hour-long episode. Um, so now, even though I should have done this yesterday, if I went to them to taste whatever, but it's fine. It's Friday today, and I want to make some barbecue chicken wings. So, got the chicken wings out. Um, and the thing with me is, they obviously, you can tell, okay? They're obviously a lot for just one person. But I don't like the system of taking things out of the freezer, then just taking out four or five pieces, then putting it back in the freezer, and then taking it out and having to defrost it a second time around. I just cook the whole thing. So two, four, six. So we've got 12 chicken wings here. I cook the whole thing. And then for the next three days, because it's Friday today, Saturday and Sunday, I'll probably be eating chicken wings with just different sides, different salads, different whatever, different whatever. So what I want to do right now, there's no uh, phone next to me. I actually don't even know what time it is. But what I want to do right now in the meantime is to... Oh my God, there's, an S, there's a whole entire SD card here. Okay, what I want to do right now is um, marinate these and then let them sit for even if it's just for about like two hours or so it's fine i'm gonna marinate them i'll show you that process and i'm probably gonna have it with a salad you know me and my makeshift salads i'll probably make something up um yeah and i'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later so here we go we've got our wings in there i'm just gonna rinse these get um just a little bits and pieces of ice that are left over gonna rinse these and then i'm gonna spice it up and show you how i do that okay i just rinsed the chicken okay um i think also cooking enough food is also very helpful for just in case you have visitors man you know if you have people that come through and all of that you just kind of wanna you know have food in the house um anyway so got some black pepper I need to actually replace this, replenish this with more black pepper, some salt, and then the marinade. And then my favorite marinade is this one from um, Spur. Yeah, I really, really like this one, the grill basting. I use that. So we're gonna start off with the pepper.
so this is how I make my uh, wings. I make them stove top rather than in the oven and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna fry them up first. They're ready with inside the marinade, <laughs> within the marinade, okay? But I'm not going to use uh, all the marinade. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep some of it in there. So I'm just gonna fry up the wings first, which shouldn't take that long. And then we add the marinade later on when we're done. You feel me? So we're just gonna wait for this oil to heat up a little bit. Alright, so I realized I wasn't recording the time I was adding the wings. So I've added the wings all onto the pan as it is right now. And I've still got some of the marinade left in this. And this is what we're gonna use to drizzle on once we're done. But in the meantime, I want to show you what to add to the marinade. Ta! Make everything nice and sweet. I'll okay, so as we have some of the marinade left over, I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Because this is not done yet. This is what's going to make them juicy, sweet, um, also not uh, dry, you know? It's the wet, wet wings, right? Uh, I'm gonna add some honey. So you can add uh, maybe two teaspoons of honey. Should be okay. I'm just gonna stir, stir this in for now, but we are gonna put it on the stove top a little bit later once we remove the chicken. These look so good and they smell great too. So. Um, excuse me, thank you. Oh, they look so good. Oh, they look so good. All right, so the chicken is ready, so I'm going to pull it out. I just had it cooking for... I'll just put it out and put it in here for now. I just had it cooking for maybe about 10 minutes, so it should be okay. Um, I'm just gonna take it out of the pan because I need to use the pan for the marinade. Like that, look at that, so pretty. Okay, so I've cleaned out the pan. The stove is currently on two, which is very low um, uh, heat in terms of heat. So what I'm gonna do now is, very simple, add the marinade to the pan gonna, gonna get even the last the last shreds of it in there because you want as much as you can get what we're gonna do now is just literally let it um, simmer so you can leave it like this I'm, I'm gonna cover it up with the lid but you can leave it like this for two three minutes and then you'll see it start to bubble over not too much bubbling, so you just let it simmer for about two to three minutes, and that's when we re-add the chicken, darling. <laughs> okay? That's when we're going to re-add the chicken. So, for now, you can go take a tinkle, or you can pour yourself a glass of wine, or you can... Oh, speaking of wine, I want to show you the wine that I'll be drinking tonight. Nice. So while it is, oh, the sauce is pretty much ready. So I'm going to tell you this very quickly. Um, I know I normally talk about red wine on this channel a lot, but I do drink white as well. And if you're South African, you probably know about this wine. If, if because it's just such a well-known, well-loved wine. Um, so because I like, I enjoy my wines, but some wines are expensive and you just don't want to drink them at any given day like on a random friday like i'm saying now right so for those days like your random friday days i really love the warwick first lady chardonnay i also actually enjoy the sauvignon blanc and i enjoy the reds from the warwick brand they're really really good so this is warwick so this is Warwick First Lady Chardonnay. Try it. Check it out. Very, very reasonably priced for a wine. Trust me. Very reasonably priced. Okay, we're simmering. We're simmering. I'm going to put this in the freezer. Chill it real quick. Okay, so this is what's happening. We're simmering. We're bubbling up. And let me taste this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's sweet. It's nice and sweet. And now... 
is the magical moment. This is where you add. Ah, this is where you add your wings, and this is where the magic happens. Honey Boo Boo Child, this is where the magic happens. You just stir that in. Listen, you stir in the babies. And you watch that base thing just turn your wings into a glorious, almost red, but brown barbecue color. It's just amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how they instantly change. Can you see? Look, look at her. This is where we're gonna add the onions, but we're gonna add the onions once it's on the plate, okay? But there we go. Barbecue wings done in a jiffy, less than 20 minutes, and you are pretty much done. Because I haven't had lunch, I am quite hungry right now. The wings are still over there cooling off. Um, but I'm going to make myself just a kind of sweet wrap and I'll probably add a wing as well there to the mix. I got these last week. These are the Pick and Pay Baker's Promise Sun-Dried uh, Tomato Tortilla Wraps. So they're a little bit on the orange side because of the sun-dried tomatoes, I'm assuming. So in that wrap, I am going to add avo, cheese, a nectarine, because I need to get rid of my food. <laughs> um, uh, spinach, of course, and some uh, uh, Wellington sweet chili sauce. So I'm back. Um, we got the food. We got the food. So let's taste the wrap first because it's the first time I made this kind of wrap with these ingredients. Mm. I'm in awe of myself, guys. Sometimes when I cook, mm, delicious. The sun dried tomato wrap is pretty good. It's really, really pretty good. It's different uh, to a normal wrap, and I think this is the one that I'll pretty much go with going forward. Right. The wings. The wings. That's not so spare. Nothing is so spare. Oh man. And this is what you want, right? When you're eating wings, you want them to be finger licking. I mean, the sauce must be on your hands, must be everywhere. Yeah. So that's how I make my wings. My wraps, you guys know I make my wraps like very really different all the time. Sometimes I add chickpeas in there. Sometimes I add the salad that I really like to make with the chickpeas and the cucumber and the red pepper, yellow pepper, that salad with the lemon juice. But Evo in a wrap is always a win. Evo and baby spinach, 
it's always a win they go really well together okay i'm gonna check in on you guys a little bit later i need to eat i'm hungry i'll talk to you later Mwah.